Welcome back, YouTubers, to my channel. Today we're gonna explore a mystery. The Klerksdorp spheres, or the Moki marbles in America. I'll show you what they are. And we're gonna penetrate the mystery, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, this is the object. It's a round sphere, which is found naturally inside of a next to a coal mine in South Africa and among the sedimentary rocks. It is very particular because it's very spherical, like, you know, to be natural, something natural. It's very, very spherical. And there are grooves on one direction. Um, many people, they... I mean, there are some stories about I mean, aliens made them or, I don't know, funny theories about these things and there are some people who say that they're not naturally made, it's man-made or you know, they're not supposed to be in the place that we found stuff like that. What we're gonna do today is as you can see we're gonna observe it outside but we're also gonna slice it through to see what's inside. How are they made? They're solid rocks? Are they hollow? Are they nice better inside? I don't know, so we will see together. So, to start with, let's see, let's give it a measurement. Now, this rock here is about 3.2, almost 3 centimeters across by almost, yeah, 3.2. So, as you can see, it's very regular. Like almost 3, like 22.8 millimeters by 3 point uh, at the quarter is uh, 3.2 at the equator you can see the pattern outside it's very smooth it's like cooked almost like burned or polished somehow you know it it actually even suggests you to look for fingerprints on the surface for how well they're made and you can see this groove going through the whole surface at the equator there are two grooves here, this one and this one. We're kind of regular, and what we're going to do is we're going to mark this on the Swiss main groove, and so we have a line for the sewing. We're going to sew right through it to see what's inside. I'm very excited. Let's find out together. As you can see here, I got well aged and seasoned trim saw with a diamond blade. So I'm going to put some water into there so the blade gets lubricated and cools off the material and then we're going to slice through the marble and see what happens. So we put some water we switch on and then we just slice through the mark Yet. I'm going to better position and better location to open it. But as you can see, I slice through it. Oh, now let's see in the proper location. Okay, I give it a rinse first. And now, uh, well, are you ready? Let's see what's inside. There you go. Looks like sandstone or sand. Sandstone. It's quite thick, eh? Um, let's do one thing. Let's try. What happens to this material here? See? It's compressed sand. Looks like compressed sand. Sandstone. And that's a very cool thing, actually. Don't ask me. Uh, this thing got hard around this nozzle in the center. 
because I haven't got the clue. But um, it's a very cool thing. Very, very cool thing. It's not a seed, as some people said in the internet. Um, yeah, it's a riddle, I don't know. The center is sandstone, probably the outside is also the same material, but heated up by some source of heat, very intense heat to, you know, to, and then it stopped all of a sudden, because maybe the heat from outside melted, melted until, you know, slowly, slowly reaching the center, but it never reached, because probably it, it ended there. I don't know. Maybe some of you can explain to me this. And there are different colors inside, probably different different minerals. And that's it. I got another one here. Same, same story. Same story. And there you get it. That's it. Now we know what's inside the Klecksdorp spheres.